Sam, thanks for coming on the show as always. And uh, the first question is, how badly did this team need that win? Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, we needed it bad. Uh, it was really good to to come out with a whole a team victory. Uh, you know, the last couple stops that our defense got were huge. Um, obviously, we'd like as an offense to go down there and score and put the game away ourselves. But, um, again, we played total complimentary football that game, and it was awesome to see. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but, again, great start. Um, what, what do you do, attribute that to, that you guys just seem to get off to those great starts? And then I guess to piggyback that question, you know, what slowed down a bit in the, in the second quarter and what adjustments do you think the Giants made? Yeah, again, you know, we talk about it all the time, start fast, finish strong. Uh, I think, you know, the last few weeks, obviously, we've been starting fast and haven't been finishing strong. And this game we did. Um, I think the second the second quarter, um, we just got in a little bit, you know, of a lull. Uh, you know, we had a couple of things. I think I could have done a lot better job of getting the ball out of my hand in certain situations. Um, but I think it was just, you know, the Giants having our number on a couple of those big third downs during the second quarter. Did you guys feel pressure? I mean, the, the, the losses mount. The Dolphins, you end up losing to them, and they end up winning two in a row with a win yesterday against the Colts. But did you feel pressure? We've got to get this monkey off our back. We hear people. We know what they're saying. We've got to get a victory. No, I don't think there was any pressure. Um, I think, you know, for us, it was really just about going out there and executing. And I, I say that truthfully and honestly. You know, every single day, we, uh, we go in the uh, in the locker room, you know, we go into meetings, we go to practice um, with the same mindset every single day, and it's just executing what, what we have to do on offense. Defense does the same thing, and obviously special teams is doing their thing. So um, for us, it's just about playing complimentary football once we get out there in the game. And I think we really did that um, against the Giants. And, again, I'm just really, really proud, you know, of, of the guys in that locker room because, you know, we got up early on them. Uh, we found ourselves down a little bit there too in the in the second half, and then we battled our way back. You know, it was it was a really good thing to see, and super proud of the boys. Is it surreal? I guess it's a better question for the Giants because you know they were the road team, you were home, but still, how often are you home where the other teams got a lot of fans there and they share the same building as you? So even though there may not be a rivalry, Sam, which is just a weird set of circumstances that you're playing a team in the same building that calls their place home. Um, I mean, since we were the home team, it was probably more strange for them. I mean, because they had to come out of a different locker room and, you know, warm up on a different side of the field. Uh, so for us, it was it was nice. But, I mean, coming out, you know, I thought our fans were so, so loud. They were awesome. Even, you know, when, when the Giants had a third down, um, you know, the, the defensive chants uh, from the crowd were, you know, loud as ever and, uh, you know, loud as they usually are when a team from, out of the state comes in and plays us so um the fans the fans came up huge you know the jets fans came in abundance on on sunday and you know i'm just uh you know really happy that you know we came out with a win and i know all the jets fans are as well so uh, maybe i gave bad information to a, a fan on friday but i thought the giants have their own home locker room and you guys have your own home locker room you don't have the same home locker room do you um yeah, I think you're right. Actually, now that I think about it, okay. Uh, yeah, they just so had to come to a different tunnel, yeah. right? Yeah, different tunnel. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I yeah, just wanted to make sure. There. I'm sorry. Um, Leonard Williams said it was fun facing you, and he said he actually told a couple of reporters that he had he wrapped you up and you had the ball in here and you got rid of it, and then he said something to you, and then you told him to bleep off. Is that true? Um, you know, to be honest, I'm not really sure uh, what I said. I, I might have said that. All right. Uh, but he said you but, said it in a fun you know, way. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm always messing around out there and having fun. Uh, but, you know, especially with Leo, uh, I've known him the past couple of years, obviously, and he went to SC. So, um, you know, every time Leo got in there, um, I was messing around with him. So uh, it was fun. You know, it was fun to go up against him. Uh Obviously, he uh, he did some damage on him. He was a great player. It was different going against him this time, but um, you know, obviously, fun fun to play against him too. So you guys will be very slight underdogs this coming weekend in Washington. But uh, trust me, I know going to Washington, it's 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 not really like playing a road game. Um, it'll probably be be at least a split crowd wise. This is a team that is now deciding to go with their rookie quarterback the rest of the way. 
So do you see this coming weekend as another opportunity, a really good opportunity for a, get, to get you guys back in the win column again, put a little streak together? Yeah, you know, I think every single week we should look at it that way. Um, you know, every single week is a good opportunity for us to get better because every single week we're, we're building, and I feel like we are getting better every single week. Um, and so I think it's just it's up to us this week on how we attack practice and how we attack, you know, meetings and all that kind of stuff and make sure that we stay on top of it, uh, make sure, like I said, that we're getting better every single day. And, uh, you know, hopefully with that we'll come away with a win on Sunday. All right. Some fans may look at you as regressing because there were losses, and we judge it by wins and losses because we don't know the game the way you guys do. So explain to me why you believe you're getting better each week. Yeah, I think, you know, with every single week, I feel like I'm making decisions faster. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable with the offense, uh, the protections especially. So, um, you know, I feel like with some of the oddball stuff the Giants threw at us, I was very well prepared. Um, and that's credit to, to the coaches and the quarterbacks in the, uh, the QB room with me. So, um, you know, I just I felt really good about things. And in the game, I felt like I saw things really clearly. So, um, again, credit to the coaches and, and the other cubes. Now, maybe you could give us some clarity on this. We, we have Adam Gase on every Tuesday. And he, he just seems, Sam, as if... You know, he's so flatlined. Like, none of this flustered him. The losing didn't fluster him. I mean, is he like is he like a duck? He's paddling a lot underneath and we don't see it. I mean, did you see that side of him, that the, the losing was eating at him? No, not at all. Um, and that's, a, that's the best part about, you know, Adam is that he's so process-oriented. And when you're so, you know, process-driven, process-oriented, and, you know, you understand that, you know, that's what it takes. It takes patience. Um, there's going to be some ups and downs. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, the downs, you know, it's going to be worth it once we, once, we get up, once we get up top. So I think that's kind of the mindset that he has and he understands, um, you know, besides him and the, and the coaching staff for every single player, really. And also besides, you know, Demarius Thomas has been in the system. It's, it's our first year in the system. And, you know, there's going to be, it's going to be a process, but that's not an excuse, you know, it's just, it's just the truth. So um, that's kind of how we look at it. Um, but, no, you know, I never, I never felt that Adam was ever flustered um, by any of the media or anything like that. You know, it was just, it was about us. It was always about the process, and that's how he's always been. And does that comfort you in the room to know, all right, there's no panic in him, so we can relax? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, with him, you know, his confidence being sky high, um, no matter what the result is, um, that's always going to, you know, ripple confidence um, through everyone. How do you feel about Chris Herndon? I mean, what a nightmare season, huh? Yeah, it sucks. Um, you know, it's not fun to go through stuff like that. Um, you know, obviously Chris is not just a, a great player, but he's a great person, so you just feel for the guy. And um, I know he's going to come out the other side, um, better as a person and as a player, I believe. Finally, you said after the game you, you guys think that you have a chance to make the playoffs. Is that a real um, goal, uh, or is it just game by game? No, I think for us it's game by game. Um, you know, I was definitely, I think, with that comment, caught up in the moment a little bit, you know, coming off high after a win that we really needed. Uh, I think for us it's really about taking it one game at a time, and, um, you know, that's, that's where I'm at with that.